Hi, I'm Zach Sneed with VCU Rehabilitation Research and Training Center, and I'm an Employment Specialist. Hi, I'm Jenica Johansson, and I'm an Employment Specialist as well at VCU's RRTC. And we're here to discuss the interview process and best practices for interviewing individuals with disabilities. So hopefully before the interview, you've told the employer, or your client has told the employer that they have a job coach. Um, Getting that out on the table ahead of time gives you the opportunity to explain your role a little bit more to the employer before you're actually in the interview process. Um, one thing that we want to make sure is that you actually allow the job coach to attend different meetings and interviews, um, and they'll be a great resource for you as you go through that interview process. And a job coach can be recognized as a reasonable accommodation along with other things that we'll touch on later in the video. Um, for those of you that don't know, uh, an accommodation are supports for individuals with disabilities and are designed to minimize obstacles on their path towards independence in the career. Um, like I said, the main role of the job coach is to provide um, support for the client during the interview. This can be exemplified by several things. So they could rephrase questions. Um, they could assist the client in preparing a video resume. They can also um, help you to schedule a working interview. Um, these three things are things that we'll explore uh, in just a minute. It's good to remember that the job coach may interact with the client and they may interact with you, but it's important for the interviewer to remember that you are interviewing the client and not the job coach. So in terms of interview questions, um, like I mentioned earlier, rephrasing interview questions is something that we do a lot. Um, our clients can answer even some of the most difficult of questions if they're phrased in the right way or if they're broken down into smaller components. Um, so oftentimes, if you're in an interview um, with a client and a job coach, uh, given a hard question, that client may look to the job coach. They're simply looking for rephrasing of the question. Um, we often suggest to our clients beforehand that they request from the interview or rephrasing or repeating of a question, but in an interview situation, it's often intimidating to do so. So that's often why they'll look to us. As a way to prepare a client for an interview, we work to do our best by doing pre-interview um, skills, um, working with them to try and come up with questions that might be interviewed, that might happen during the interview. Um, if you have a hard set of questions that you already use, that you already have laid out, the job coach may request to see those questions ahead of time. And if you, the interviewer, are comfortable with it, we'll reword them and rephrase them for the client so that it's easier for you to ask them questions and it's also easier for them to be able to explain their skills as they try and secure this employment. Um, in terms of a video resume, uh, this is a way if we have a client who is um, has difficulty with communicating and there are a variety of reasons for that, but it's a way that the employer can see the client perform the essential job tasks. Um, they may not be able to participate in a traditional um, question and answer interview and this is our way of kind of working around that and still allowing them to pursue those competitive employments. Um, I believe we'll have a clip of a video resume just after this. Please enjoy this example of a video resume. Um, a working interview is also another form of a interview process during which instead of asking questions or having the video interview, they're actually very similar. Um, but in the working interview, the individual will come in and actually perform the tasks that, re that are required in the job. Um, this can be a lot like a situational assessment that we discussed um, in the previous video. But in this case, we are actually looking to secure employment. 
And this is a really useful tool because it allows the employer to see the client on their actual specific job site, doing the actual tasks and observing how they handle different situations um, and interactions with coworkers and supervisors. So it's a really useful tool. Before or uh, during the interview process, we may request to have a tour of the facility. This is for us to gain an understanding of where the client would be working, um, the environment that they'll be working in, what outside environmental factors might be affecting them. It's also for the client, for them to be put at ease. Um, for us, for anybody, it's nerve wracking just to go into an interview or go into the unknown. Um, and this is just a way to alleviate that external factor and get them more acclimated to what they think the job site will be. Another reason why we love to do a tour of the facility is for the possible chance of introducing um, the prospective employee to coworkers or supervisors. Um, it's great when you start a job to have a familiar face and a friendly face on the job site. And so if we can facilitate this through a tour, um, we love to do that. Advocating the client's needs. Um, especially when working to customize interview locations, this is our goal to set them up for the most successful route possible to secure employment. Um, during the interview time, we may be looking to discuss you know, specific hours that they would work, um, the types of breaks that they may need, um, and any reasonable accommodation for them to be successful. This is, the goal is not to separate them or make the client stand out from other employers, but this is for the client to be as successful as possible and produce the best work they can in the job setting. And they're often very simple, mm -hmm. simple tweaks that can be made to get the best performance. Um, so we have a list of do's and don'ts um, and a few things to discuss. So um, one thing that we really suggest to employers is that they set a company-wide diversity standard and they lead that from the top down. So it's hard for managers um, to kind of set that example, um, and it really does need to come from the top down, and that gives everybody the confidence to move forward and, uh, and increase diversity. Um, a don't is to make it, or don't make it difficult for HR and other managers to hire individuals with disabilities. They have just as much to contribute to the workforce and the skills that you are looking for. Um, just because it's a different setting doesn't mean it's a bad thing. Um, we also suggest that um, you learn about the business, um, the business benefits from other people who have employed um, individuals with disabilities. Um, we work with a lot of different companies, large and small, um, private and public, and everybody has, uh, not everybody, but people have different things to share and it's great to come employer to employer and have that discussion. Um, don't be closed off to accommodations. Um, these are made to you know, support the client, but they can also really benefit your employees as well. Um, I had an example for that. Um, I have a client working at a hotel and they weren't the strongest reader. And so what I did was I made a visual task list um, and assignment and schedule. Um, what we didn't know was that on the second shift, there were a lot of um, people that didn't speak English as their first language. And so they were having difficulties as well with task assignment. Um, and what we saw through the work of the job coach and the accommodations and supports on the site was that it benefited the entire team as opposed to just our client. Um, and I, so things like that can affect the entire unit and bring everybody up. Mm -hmm. As job coaches working with um, a number of different individuals, we have examples of success in the workplace. So don't hesitate to ask us for examples and we'd also love to put you in contact with managers and organizations that have had success in working with individuals with disabilities. And one thing that we urge you guys is to um, recognize that every single person with a disability is going to be completely different. So just because um, you hired some, one person one day that may have had a little bit of difficulty, somebody else may be a perfect candidate for that role or another role. And so just to make sure that you assess each interviewer and client um, by their own merits and skills, um, that's definitely something to keep, keep in mind. So a big do is we encourage you to keep an open mind. Ask questions and use us as a resource. 
you can find any, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask them on our web board. Thank you guys. Have Thank a good you. one. Bye.